Hi YouTube, so we're going to be doing some uh, quick vids for all the new features on the uh, Flysky Noble Pro and the new version 3 of the firmware. So, let's start off on the main screen. So basically, we got these dials, these are new, and you can press onto these, we can go into them, and you can change them to be anything you like. So if you've got the voltage sensors plugged in, or the BVD, or external temp temperature and voltage, um, the GPS ones to read height, you can have motor speed set up on your sensors, um, GPS acceleration, then we've got all the other interactions with the Power HD kit or the Hobby Wing. So basically you can change these to read anything you like. So if we went into TX voltage, you can then set the actual minimum value and maximum. So you can come out and now you see it's changed to read TX voltage. So if we go and open, turn on the uh, power base so it starts charging and then we should see that the voltage will slowly start going up but then we can go into the second one we can go down and I don't think it'll let us set the GPS without a GPS connected but let's see so at least you get some idea of what it would actually do if you set it to uh, GPS so you can set it to GPS time and then you've got a clock obviously no GPS connected so it's not going to uh, read anything but there's lots of other options that you've got in here so we could set it to height and then you've got minimum value maximum value so you're just basically setting the limitations of the gauge. Temperature, same, minimum, maximum. So it just gives you more calibration of what the actual gauge will read itself. Then motor speed a bit same, or you could have a speedo. And again, minimum, maximum. So if you'd got this set to like 200 mile an hour and your car only did 20, then it'd just move a little bit. So you want to set this to like a real car where your top speed is almost your maximum or just over. And then you'll have a nice sweep of the actual dial. There. Let's have a play about, let's see what happens. What's summer zombie wings? So you could have it set to ESC temp. Again, your min and max. And then it's going to read your temperature of your ESC. But hopefully this will give you some sort of idea of what these gauges actually do. So this will be reading RPM. And again, so it'd work, you could have speed and RPM. So it'd work as a speed and speedo and a rev counter. Or you can just change it back. And if you want to reset anything at any point, you can just press that and it'll reset them to what they are as stock. But yeah, that's just a quick guide on what these actually do and how you change the settings and how you calibrate it so the gauge actually reads correct but thanks again for watching wtfrc cars if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell share to friends and family and uh, catch you guys again in the next one